Thank you for joining us once again. It's time for a PBN News Update, live and in your face. Hello and welcome to the final segment of our special Pesticide Exposure Edition. Always the intrepid reporter, Brick Walls has an intriguing investigative report. Thanks, Beth. I'm Brick Walls at PBN News. It suddenly dawned on me in my recent visit to Valley Hospital that I didn't know the proper steps that pesticide applicators need to take to remove and decontaminate their PPE. So, as a public service, we at PBN News have decided to create a 12-step program. Not that 12-step program. This program illustrates the proper techniques to remove, decontaminate, maintain, and store your PPE. We like to call it the Dirty to Dirty and Clean to Clean program. In other words, you only use dirty gloves to take off dirty PPE and clean gloves only to touch clean clothing. Step 1. Rinse off your entire chemical resistance suit with a hose or shower head to remove as much pesticide residue as possible. Step 2. Remove your hood or headgear by grabbing it from the outside contaminated part. Step 3. Carefully remove your goggles or eye protection with your contaminated gloves. Make sure you do not touch your face with your dirty gloves. Keep in mind that wearing dirty goggles while removing the rest of your PPE can reduce your vision and increase the risk of potential contamination. Step 4. Take off your respirator by grabbing it from the canister or cartridges and gently pulling it forward and up. It's easier to remove the respirator by pulling it forward and up than it is to unhook the straps. Wearing a respirator while removing other PPE can restrict movement and vision. It's much more comfortable to remove other PPE parts without wearing a respirator. Step 5. Take off the jacket by carefully unbuttoning or unzipping it without touching your clothing underneath. Once the jacket is opened, wash your gloves and jacket sleeves with soap and water. Carefully remove your jacket by grabbing it from the clean parts. Step 6. Remove your protective pants. Unhook the pant straps and make sure to drop them inside the pants to avoid contamination. Roll your pants down to slightly above knee high. Balancing carefully or using a chair, remove your leg from the dirty protective pants. Then put your foot back into the boot. As a special note, put your everyday pant leg back into the boot. It's highly recommended to wear rubber boots while washing PPE to prevent work shoes from contacting contaminated water. Step 7. With your boots and gloves still on, wash and dry your goggles and put them on. Or put on other clean protective eyewear. With your eyes protected, start washing the rest of your PPE. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Brick. The PPE removal process sounds pretty involved. Do all pesticide applicators have to be that careful? To make sure they're safe, they do. Let's move on to the next step. Step 8. Wash your respirator. 
Remove the cartridge from the mask. Discard and replace any pre-filters. And discard cartridges that were used for more than eight hours. If you can reuse the cartridges, clean them by wiping with a moist towel. Dry cartridges with single-use towels and store them separately in a sealed plastic bag. Take the respirator part and wash with soapy water using a soft sponge. Rinse it under running water. Let it air dry or use single-use towels. After parts are washed and dried, make sure you inspect them before reassembly. Store in a sealable plastic bag, separate from the cartridges. Step 9. Now you finally get to wash your protective suit. Wash your suit both inside and out on a flat surface. Using a brush, scrub with a side-to-side -side motion with soapy water to avoid splashing contaminated water on your clothes or body. Don't brush towards you. Using the side-to-side -side technique helps you avoid being splashed with contaminated water. Rinse the suit under running water and hang it to dry in a clean, pesticide-free area. Step 10. While wearing your boots, wash them. Step 11. Remove and wash your goggles with soap, water, and a soft sponge. Step 12. With them still on, wash the outside of your gloves. Remove them now and wash the insides as well. Fill the gloves with water and check for any holes. Even if you are wearing disposable gloves, wash them before disposing of them. Inspect all PPE and replace or repair any that need it. Finally, when you're done with your 12th step, Dirty to Dirty and Clean to Clean program, move to a pesticide free zone. Take your boots off and put on your regular shoes. That's a 13th step brick. What? That's a 13th step. Listen here, Mr. Fancy Pants. Someday when you're covered in pesticide residue and yelling for help, I'm sure you'll be begging for the 12 step program. Are we clear, Mr. Perfection? Brick? During the decontamination process, I noticed you mentioned some decontamination supplies. What items are needed and who provides them? Now that's an excellent question, Beth. These are the decontamination items people need to have on hand. A flat surface, plenty of water, soap, a brush with a long handle, a sponge to wash goggles and respirator, single-use towels, one-gallon Ziploc bags to store respirator, goggles, and gloves. Your employer usually makes these supplies available. Now back to you, Beth, and Mr. Fancy Pants. Jerk. Thanks, Brick, for that in-depth report. To summarize, here's Brick's 12-step program. 
Yes, Beth, here is Brick's 12-step program. One, rinse PPE. Two, use dirty gloves to remove dirty hood or hat. Three, use dirty gloves to remove dirty goggles. Four, use dirty gloves to remove dirty respirator. Five, use dirty gloves to unbutton dirty outside jacket. Then wash gloves and jacket sleeves to remove jacket grabbing it from clean parts. Six, remove your protective pants using clean gloves to touch clean parts of pants. Seven, wear clean eyewear, start washing PPE. Eight, wash respirator. Nine, wash your protective suit. 10, wash your boots. 11, remove and wash goggles. 12, wash your gloves. When you're done, move to a clean area to change into your regular shoes. Now back to our regular programming.